Hey guys, I'm Venomous, and welcome to Explore XR, where we explore the metaverse. Content creation on the MetaQuest 2 can be a painful experience. From dealing with audio sync issues, or recordings becoming corrupt for no good reason at all, and vomit-inducing shaky visuals, creating VR content on the Quest 2 leaves a lot to be desired. But until Meta is able to address these issues with a future software update, I will share with you two methods that I use to live stream and record my VR content. Both methods require you to download OBS Studio, so click the link in the description below to download it. And don't forget, if you enjoy this video, please click the like and subscribe buttons for more. The first method I'm gonna show you is 100% wireless. On your computer, open OBS Studio. Now you can use the default empty scene or create a new scene if you have other scenes already set up. Scenes have lots of different options that you can choose to add to them. You can add a video capture device like a webcam, a media source like a video, or even game capture. In this case, we need to be able to embed a web browser into our scene. So we'll select the web browser source. Give the source a name that you'll remember. In the URL field, Enter https colon forward slash forward slash oculus.com forward slash casting. Set the width to 1920 and height to 1080. And put a check mark on control audio via OBS. This will allow us to capture the audio from your headset being cast to the browser source. Now you need to be able to sign on to the Oculus casting page using your Facebook account. To do that, right click on the browser source we added to your scene and click interact. That will open the page in a mode that allow you to interact with it as you would on a regular web browser. Now go ahead and log in. Now switch over to your Quest. Click the share button on the menu, click cast and select computer. And congratulations. Now you should see the video from your headset showing up in OBS Studio. Back in the browser source, click the volume and microphone buttons so we can capture your mic audio and the audio coming from your Quest. And click the full screen button so the video fills the screen. And there you go. You're capturing from your Quest and can stream it or record it using OBS Studio. Now you'll notice that the video has black bars on each side. You can get rid of them by creating a filter on the browser source to chop them off. So right click the browser source and go to filters. Once there, select Prop Pad. Set the values of left and right to 420 and click Close and 420 is not a joke. From here, you can add an overlay, your stream alerts or chat box to make your stream look more appealing and more interactive. Now here's pro tip number one of today's video. One problem that you will run into when you come back to stream is that the video on the Oculus casting page does not appear in full screen. And when you throw the browser source in interact mode, you can't interact with anything. That's because you have to disable the crop pad filter. Throw it into full screen from there and then reactivate the crop pad filter. So that's the wireless method. The second method I use is wired using the Oculus Link cable. Many of the games that you purchase on the Oculus Store via your Quest are also available for you to download and play through PC VR. PC VR games tend to have better graphics than native Quest games. And using Oculus Mirror, you can add image stabilization, making it for a better overall viewing experience. Now plug your headset into your computer, turn it on, and enable Oculus Link. And then switch back to your PC. To launch Oculus Mirror, go to C, colon backslash program files, backslash oculus, backslash support, backslash oculus dash diagnostics. From there, launch oculusmirror.exe. Click anywhere inside the window to make the menu visible and select full screen. Now here's pro tip number two of today's video. Go to image stabilization and select enabled. Although image stabilization cuts off some of the video, your viewers and their stomachs will thank you. Next, jump on over to OBS Studio and create a new scene. In the new scene, add a window capture and make sure that Oculus Mirror is selected. 
And there you have the video from your headset in your OBS scene looking really, really good. From here, you can customize the look and feel of your scene. And there you have it. Those are the two methods that I use to stream and capture video from my Quest 2. One method that I did not cover today was recording and storing videos on the Quest 2 and transferring to your computer. And I did that for the reasons that I mentioned at the beginning of today's video. I don't recommend that method unless you have no other options. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, throw this video a like, and for more content like this, subscribe to this channel and slap that bell. Until next time, guys, see you in the metaverse.